Innovative developments are the order of the day in arable farming. Quality is becoming even better and production greater. The tractors and machines that we see on the fields are also becoming larger. They are becoming so large that our soil is finding it even more difficult to cope with them. Jan Vandenacker, who works for Wageningen University, researches subsoil compaction and the consequences of this. Subsoil compaction is one of the most frequently occurring soil problems in the Netherlands. It actually occurs in the whole of the Netherlands and also in all European countries. Zeltbach, known as the global market leader of frontline systems, have also developed track systems with a large team of engineers. These can be used on tractors and machines to ultimately reduce ground pressures. The development of tires is also moving forward and also have to find solutions to the soil compaction problem. Recently, extra flexible tires have been launched on the market that increase their contact area. They therefore should cause less soil compaction and be even better than tracks. Two agricultural contractors assisted us, one with a Vervat and with a Zelbert track, and the other with the same Vervat but with Michelin tires. We really wanted to compare tires to tracks. The research was carried out not only by Wageningen University, but also with a Swedish university who offered to help. They were in charge of measuring the pressures. We asked people from Sweden to measure soil pressures at 20 or 25 centimeters. They came to the Netherlands to carry this out. The machine was filled and loaded, then positioned on pressure cells. Then the loads for each wheel were measured. Next, the footprint was measured. The contact area between the tire and the soil. We also measure the depth of the ruts. Should we examine the pressure cells, which we buried at a depth of 20 centimeters, you will see one in the middle, this one. The tire runs this way here. And this one is actually on the edge of the tire or the track. And this one is halfway. Now, I will show the results. What you see here is the result under the track. The blue one is the one in the center under the track. The green one is the one on the edge and the red one is in between the other two. You can already actually see those rollers, you see them coming back again. You can also see that they are staying just below 150 kilopascals. If we next examine the tire, we really see here that the middle one is truly higher than two bars. Therefore, this is 200 kilopascals. And here, the green, blue and red ones are shown. If we compare the two, that is, the blue is therefore the tire in this case, and the red is clearly the track, you can clearly see that difference of more than 50 kilopascals or more than half a bar. If we examine this based on depth, that is, the depth is specified here, and this is the soil pressure, you can see that red is the track and blue is the tire. And you can see that the tire actually leads to higher pressures than the track over the full depth. The conclusion is, therefore, that these pressures under the track are clearly lower than under such an ultraflex tire. Tracks simply do have a future. It was already known that you can achieve significant benefits with tracks when compared to tires. But you must always keep in mind that it is clearly all about what you put on top. If this involves high loads, even the best solution will not be good either. Until now, track systems were often seen as bad weather insurance when harvesting. The research carried out by the Burdere magazine in partnership with Wageningen University, CAH Valentin University of Applied Sciences, and Uppsala University in Sweden has proven that the use of track systems has added value when compared to tires, not just when the weather conditions are bad, but also especially when the weather is fine. <laughs>